The best thing to do is actually come last. It's actually to have the worst record. If you don't make the playoffs, there's really no point in the season of you coming just to miss out. You know, if you just miss out, there's really no point. There's, there's no reward whatsoever. But if you come last, that means you get the number one draft pick for the up and coming college kids that are looking really good for next season. Basically, it's the entire Duke team, and they're doing absolutely phenomenally. RJ Barrett, you know, Zion Williamson, you know, they've got a really good team going there. Three of their players are probably going to go top 10, and two of their players could even go first two or even first three. The reason why I still think it's going to be interesting is because teams don't want to lose, but players don't have that in their mindset. They don't care about losing. They don't really care about the players coming through because they believe in themselves and they believe that they can take this team to the next level. So they don't think that they need somebody else to come in and do their job for them. I tell you what, normally it's really easy to do this walking through, but uh, today it's not because there's a lot of people here. <laughs> there's a lot of people that have to look here, but I'm kind of trying to work my way through the people and it's, it's difficult. <laughs> so what are we going to see tonight? Are we going to see a close game between two teams who want to lose or are we going to see a close game between two teams who want to get the consistency going together? I'm not too sure what will happen but it's going to be an awesome game to witness no matter what. The fact that LeBron James is here, the king right now, the greatest player in the game right now, one of the greatest of all time but the greatest player that we're witnessing right now. He's playing tonight so I'm keen for this. Let's go ahead and down, let's go have some fun, let's go so up the atmosphere baby. And let's go live our passion. That's the main thing guys, don't forget that. Focus on that, live your passion. Don't let anybody tell you you can't do something. Just Go out and smash it. If you believe you've got a purpose in life or you feel like it's just too massive to move, I guarantee you it is worth it. If it is your passion, it is worth it. So go out and smash it. But let's get it, baby. Let's have a good time. Come on, the balls. <laughs>
shit just booed LeBron James because he's not Michael Jordan. It's a rivalry brewing. It was a rivalry brewing just because you know the Chicago Bulls fans are a little bit worried that Jordan's legacy is kind of being interrupted by uh, the LeBron James. I don't know if it'd be interrupted, but like they don't expect someone to be at this level. No one's ever been at this level before. So that's why I think there's a lot of hate here. <laughs> Here to witness greatness, you know, there is no rivalry for me. I just love watching great plays, and LeBron James is a great player, just like Michael Jordan was. But I want the Bulls to do I want the win because I want a good draft. <laughs> That's it's so confusing. It's so, such a confusing time. Come on, Laurie, come on, Laurie for three. Ah, oh. <laughs> LeBron gets the ball. This is the reaction. <laughs> I just want to see a LeBron slam. I'd love a slam. Oh, there's a Jamal. There's a Jamal McGee slam. Bang that three, bang that three, bang that three. Boom! Oh. Yeah! Boom! Oh, baby, that's a slam dunk for Reno from this time, Robert Lopez. See, the strange thing with the Lakers this season is that, like, before LeBron, oh, I missed it. Before LeBron got injured, they were actually looking quite, you know, quite like a threat. They were looking quite decent, but then they just, you know, fell apart. They just, they just fell apart. They've got good players, Carl Kuzma, you know, Rajon Rondo, Jamal McGee is pretty decent on his day, obviously LeBron James. You know, they, they've got a decent team and they were looking good until that LeBron injury and that just absolutely messed them up beyond all belief. Robert, whoa, whoa, man, Jamal scored. Even away, but still away, don't you bloody come to hear me. Oh, let's finish up, Carl, post him. Oh, 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 Robert has just said, Get out of here, man. This is my bloody man. Here we go, three for Archie. Boom! Oh! <laughs> First quarter is over and the Bulls are up 34-16 on the Lakers. I'm here at Paul and Sean. So one Lakers fan, and we got one Chicago fan over there. Love it, boys. Buddy, obviously, LeBron playing tonight. I want to ask you this, my friend. LeBron playing tonight, but you're obviously Chicago fans, and Michael Jordan is probably your favourite, yeah? Do you think LeBron is at that level? Obviously, you're a Lakers fan. Do you, you, you enjoy watching LeBron play for Lakers? Oh, 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 oh. I just think that he needs to build with his team, you know? I feel like this is his first year. He just needs to kind of get a rhythm going. And, uh, it hasn't happened so far. But you wait. Anthony Davis? I know, we'll see. I'll tell you what, though. Archie is trying to. Archie. Archie for the Chicago Bulls has just been that's how I say it. I'm not saying it's full names, I can't pronounce the full name. As you saw the other night when he, he got that massive rebound in from the sideline, threw it in, and then Zach Levine went for a slam dunk. Uh, he's going to be a special player, man. And in the absence of Zach Levine tonight, he's played some real serious minutes, and we're seeing what kind of quality he can bring to the table. Oh, LeBron Alford. Oh, that was a nice pass out. Yeah, that's why he's had the big buck. Yeah. <laughs> that's not good. That's not good. That's not good. Oh! Son of again, let's pass it out, and then it's going to be an easy three. Man, they keep letting LeBron drive the basket and then get it out for the easy three, and whoever's out the perimeter. Get one with Chrissy Dunn, oh, and then trouble, man. Oh, he's done it again, he's got it out. Don't tell me it's going in. It's going in! They keep letting LeBron drive the basket, throw it out for an easy three, man. Oh! <laughs> Archidiakono, baby. Archidiakono. Oh! LeBron has just gone. <laughs> LeBron has just gone. Oh, man. It was coming. It was coming. Oh, oh, oh. Oh! Hey, oh, 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 oh
quickly. JaVale McGee cannot handle Robin right now. He cannot handle Robin. Half time here of the Lakers versus Bulls game, and I'm with Renzo, a Lakers fan. Mate, uh, what do you reckon the, the game so far? Obviously, 60 55 to uh, the Bulls. What do you think of the game so far? It's kind of a devastation right now because we you know we want the Lakers to win. I got the Lakers on Yeah. So it's like, they're going to come back and win with the nerve. Yeah. <laughs> Are you from Chicago or from Lakers? Uh, from... Oh, yeah. So, yeah. what made you become a uh, Lakers fan? Now obviously the Lakers aren't playing for playoffs. Uh, like there's a chance? Not really. What do you think has to happen for the rest of the season? So, uh, what, what do you think they need to do? Everybody is simply wrong. Yeah. And do you feel like uh, it's better to lose or better to get the chemistry going? What do you reckon the first half? Dunn has been having a really good game as well. Archie having a great game. Robin Lopez is having a good game. And uh, Chris Dunn is... Well, oh! Laurie, Laurie's been a little bit missing, Laurie Markkinen. I thought he would have been turning up today. You go for the three. Oh, no. I would have thought Laurie Markkinen would have been turning up today considering Zach Levine's out, but... It's been more of a team effort. Even Otto Porter's had a bit of a quiet game in comparison. Easy shot there by LeBron. But even Otto Porter's had a quiet game. He's been fantastic since he's been traded to the Chicago Bulls. He's a LeBron slayer. He's a LeBron slayer, baby. Wow! Bang, baby! Easy stun the over the man. That's what we were waiting for. He's turned you. He's coming. Oh! That is slammer. That should be an easy banger. That should be a banger! Come on, Laurie for three. Oh man, he is shocking from three of late. Oh, and Kuzma gets the two in line. Man, stop giving it to Laurie on three. Stop giving it to Laurie on three, Layla. Last couple of games, he's shocking from three. Come on, Laurie, get there, get there. There's a two, there's a two. See, give it to him there. There we get the two and a foul, so there may be three here. That's the way he gets threes lately. <laughs> Let him get back into it then. Stop forcing the three then. Stop forcing the three. No way. Oh, another three. Another three. Three quarter time and it's 98-84 to the Lakers. That third quarter, like I've been saying, is exactly the same as the Detroit Pistons game. They just, you know, they led in the first half, they led well, and then uh, in the second half, it's third, third quarter. Not fantastic. Not fantastic at all. It's like they want to give everyone hope by showing this is what we can do. The first half is this is what we can do with our potential. But the second half is just like we still want that last pick. We still want that top pick for Zion Williamson. That's what I get from this. Got the potential. The second half they're like, nah, we want that Zion Williamson to be single digits. Play oh he's been blocked. No, nah, it was blocked. Yes! Bang! It's a two and an eight-point game. We're right back in it, son. 98-90. Oh yes, three for Laurie, that's open, and that's still missing. He can't sink a three to save his life right now, he really can't. I honestly think he's shot like 10 threes tonight, and he's missed one. Oh, slam Slam dunk. Wow. 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 Wow, he's just gone bang. That is naughty. That's a roll. Oh, LeBron just made a mad steal. Here we go. Here we go. Jumped on the feet. Crazy. Crazy. That's why we're here. That's, That's why, why we're here. here. Ah, 
and there's a two, and that is another reason why we're here for Chrissy Dunn. And that, my friends, is game over. 123 to 107 in the Lakers. Comprehensive victory. Well deserved. We are here after the game, and unfortunately, the Lakers do get a massive win against the Bulls. I'm here with Aaron. Hey, what do you reckon? Come on. It was a good game to start. The Bulls did a absolute amazing job. They just couldn't hold the defense against LeBron. Man. It's one of the greatest players to ever play this sport. Pleasure to see that. Man. It's crazy, man. It's absolutely crazy watching him live and, and seeing how special he is as a player. What I hate is when people, you know, compare Jordan and LeBron. You know? They're both phenomenal players on their ears. You know what? Where I come from, I'm from the city of Chicago, we love Jordan. We also love LeBron. We love don't, LeBron. We don't compare them, man. They're yeah. two different players in two different eras. It's a different kind of basketball that guys are playing today. Jordan played a different kind of basketball back in the day, you know. He also had Rodman, one of the greatest centers ever to play the game, yeah. Dennis Rodman. As crazy as he was, Dennis Rodman was one of the best. Yeah, I had an absolute great time with my family. And, uh, That's the main thing, man. That's the main thing. The Bulls started off really well. They, they had a really good first half. Second half, they kind of fell apart. Do you think that's more about a showing of we can do it, but we also want a really good pick? You know what? I can't lie. For an entire quarter, I was trying to get a meatball sandwich. <laughs> so I don't know what happened in the second half. I just came back and they were losing. Trust me. Be so happy. I just want to be honest. Yep. Uh, but I want to plug my brother, Lil Ron, one of the greatest rappers coming out of Chicago. Here we go, Lil Ron. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. If you did like it, please give me a thumbs up so know that you're enjoying this content. And if you are enjoying this content, I don't know how, because that game just then, I know it was a blowout win for the Lakers. But man, like that was absolutely crazy. Like that was a special experience, man. And although I knew that was gonna kind of happen, watching LeBron in the first place, I knew that before the game. I never expected such an amazing atmosphere and an amazing, you know, an experience. Like I said, guys, that is gonna do us for today. If you aren't a part of the BK Army yet, then first of all, what are you damn well doing? Go and hit the subscribe button below. And also, right after that, what do you damn well do? What do you damn well do? What do you do? What do you do? You go and hit that little ding a ling a ling notification bell so you get a notification every single time we upload. Pretty sure we're gonna be going going to Milwaukee over the next couple of days or maybe even Indiana, I'm not too sure yet, but we're going to be going to a couple of games because in Chicago there's not much on for the next week or so until Chicago Blackhawks come back and play. But guys, the main thing, like I always say, live your passion, don't let anybody tell you you can't do anything. If you have a passion for something that you know that you can't live without, go out and strive for it, go out and do it, no matter who says that you can't do it. I believe in you and you should believe in yourself, so go out and smash it, man. When you go out and do it, don't just do it, go out and smash it, son. But anyway guys, thanks for watching. Catch I'll see you.